Dobry den, comrades, and welcome! There have been quite a few solid additions in the Fu and Homebrew Vita contest lately, and today we are going through all of them, so let's get cracking! First new submission in the original games category is Drone Simulator, made in the Unity engine. Actually, I'm not really sure if it's finished or not, but as the title implies, it is a drone simulator. There isn't much you can do besides flying the drone, using touch controls and changing the environment. Town, Temple, Mars... It looks and runs pretty good. If I could control it with joysticks, that would be great. And I think there should be also some objective added, like to fly to the target in set time limit, for example. All in all, not bad! Second new addition by Rin is a double port of Descent Free Space, The Great War and The Free Space 2. They're both an old PC, first-person space combat simulation games, with a huge modding community that created 20 years worth of campaigns playable with this port. It places player in the role of human pilot, who is using different ships, different methods, different weapons in different environments, to finish each mission successfully. I haven't played it previously, this is my first time, and I like it. I always enjoyed space combat simulators. This one is a bit older, but definitely not bad. If you wanna install it, setup instructions are down below. Demo files are included in the release. Also guys, if you are enjoying these videos, like and subscribe, cause there is certainly more to come. Third is a port of the Marmalade Boy LCD by Bunkai, which is based on an old LCD game with very simple graphics, where you have to go from point A to the point B without dying to increase your highest score. Creator also added one more simple game and two more extra quizzes. Get it for free from the link down below. Fourth is a port of Tech Maniac THPG by VSM Gamer. It is a 2D platformer with old school graphics. You are collecting items, plus you can also gain new ability like double jump. Game is okay, but I felt like it was unnecessarily hard due to the weird hit detection of the spikes that are scattered all over the place. You don't even need to touch them and you are dead already and it's gonna send you back to the last checkpoint, which sucks, obviously. Try it out if you like what you see. Fifth is a port of MacPixel 3, original developed by Mikolaj Kaminsky, published by Devolver Digital and ported by Runegatamente. It is a pixelated 2D point-and-click puzzle adventure game. I haven't tried it before, I'm not really into point-and-click adventure games, unless they are not taking themselves too seriously. And this one is certainly not taking itself too seriously. Straight from the first scene, where the guy cut the bomb into slices <laughs> and ate it, I knew this is gonna be something special. So if you wanna experience something surreal, I can recommend checking this one out. You won't be disappointed. You're also gonna need game files for this one, cause it is an Android wrapper. Now, big shout out to the new channel supporter, Ultimate Vita Zelot, Logan Gra. Your support is greatly appreciated, same as all my other Patreons and members, Thanks to your help, I can continue to create these videos. Sixth and the biggest fluent submission is a port of The World Ends With You, Solo Remix by Hatoven. It is an action RPG developed by Square Enix and Jupiter, originally for Nintendo DS. Later it was also ported to Android and iOS. And in 2018 it even received Nintendo Switch ports. And in 2023, thanks to Fuhen and Hatoven, we can also enjoy it on our beloved PS Vitas. Which is mind-blowing, great job man! I actually never played it before. I remember seeing it in the top 10 list of DS games or something. I think I even downloaded it. But I never actually sat down and played it up until now. And what do I think of it? I think it's fun. For some reason, it reminded me of Jet Set Radio Future straight away. I guess because of the graphics, cool soundtrack and the Japanese setting. It takes some getting used to, to learn all the moves and whatnot. It controls via the touch only. I like what I've seen so far and I'll be definitely playing it for some more after this video is gonna be released. Cause you know, priorities. Thanks to you for watching, thanks to members for support. 
Like, subscribe, join if you enjoyed it. Dovidenia do počutia, priatelia. You did it.